hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much to all my fellow subscribers for all the love and support and for those of you who have not subscribed as yet please do subscribe today we're going to be making a wonderful spinach and zucchini pie filled with goat cheese and prosciutto and for those of you who are not Italian who don't know what prosciutto is it's simply cooked ham Okay, so let's get started. So already in my frying pan here, I have um, some butter and I have my onions that are chopped very fine with some garlic here. And I'm just gonna let this saute down for a few minutes until the onions are translucent and the garlic is fragrant. And something guys that I want to tell you that cooking should not be such a task it should be something that you enjoy don't worry about perfection uh, perfection doesn't exist because nothing is perfect you know just do your best but most importantly just put a whole lot of love in it with love inside of every dish you can't go wrong So into my onion and garlic mixture, I'm just gonna add a teeny bit of salt at this time and a little black pepper. Okay, so now to this, I'm just going to add my spinach. Today I have some frozen spinach because this was on discount. For me, it's a very good price and I love discounts, eh? Who doesn't love a really good discount? So today, this is what we're gonna be using. And so the zucchinis here, you see I have them, I cut them in, cut them up into like half moons. And to this, I'm going to add a little salt again. little basil a little goes a long way guys and I know that I have garlic in already but I'm still gonna use just a dip, tad bit of garlic powder okay and I'm just gonna let this cook down and that's it Okay, so as you can see, my spinach and zucchinis uh, are already cooked. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm just gonna take the big chunks of garlic out. And then I'm going to let the remaining, um, sorry, drain the remaining water out of this mixture and set it aside until we're ready to assemble the pie. So this is just to make sure that we get all the excess water out because we don't want to have a, a soggy pie. Okay, so I'm just gonna press this down a little.
and then like I said before we're just gonna allow this to drain out and then we'll assemble. then we're ready to assemble the pie okay so now we're going to make the pastry for the spinach and zucchini pie so I have my flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt in here but don't worry about the measurements I will have everything listed down below for you I'm just going to mix this up because I have a blend of two flours inside so I want to make sure that it's all mixed together properly to this I'm just going to add a pinch of levito or like baking powder for a salted cakes just a pinch I find that this makes it a much lighter because I don't use any butter in this recipe at all so just the pinch is going to go a long way I promise you it's going to make it very light okay that's good and then give this a mix going to add my water Okay, so my oil ran out on that one. I had to get my other bottle. I'm just measuring this underneath so I'm keeping an eye out for it. Perfect. Perfect. Now I can get rid of this. Okay, so now I'm just going to let the dough rest whilst I put together the zucchini and spinach mixture. Let's go and do that together. Okay, so to my bowl I have 100 grams of egg whites and one egg. And I'm just going to add a little salt. some grated parmesan
Okay, so now I'm just gonna put my egg mixture into the fridge until we're finished with the dough. Okay, so because I'm not using a pie pan, I find that this way is easiest for me to use between uh, two uh, uh, baking papers. It's gonna be a little difficult in the beginning because it's gonna be like running away from you, pulling away from you. But I promise you, if you just be consistent and you show who's boss, <laughs> it will work at an end. But it'll take a little time, but it definitely will be worth it. And I find, like I said before, this way is easy for me to work it into the pan without any problems. The thing is, you don't have to worry about having all the right things. You can improvise, use what you have because that's what I do. Use whatever pan you have on hand. Okay, I think that's good. And then I kind of flip it over and take off the other part of the paper because then it's normally like this, so I just want to smooth it out. See, it's beautiful. I don't mind that it's going off. I need to feel it. You see what I said about it being easier? So I can just work it immediately into the pan. Just like that, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Please don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this today. I would really appreciate that. Okay, and remember as always, like I said, that you don't have to strive to be perfect. Once you put love into your recipes, that's all anyone can ask for. Because anything that you put love into, believe me, it's all gonna be worth it in the end. Okay. Okay. This spatula I love so much. I I do everything with this. I absolutely love it. It makes my life a whole lot easier inside the kitchen. It's one of the best purchases I've ever made.
I'm just gonna move this around. Then what I'm going to do is just kind of smooth it out. Okay, as best as possible. Watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna go in and kind of pull the edges. Pull the one, two. And kind of twist them under. Okay, so now we're just gonna bake this until this is all nice and golden brown. Okay guys, so it's all done. Just took it out of the oven. Please don't forget again, if you have not subscribed as yet, to please do subscribe. I would greatly appreciate all the love and support and it will greatly help with the growth of my channel look at this this is so amazing okay let's see and it's very light get a clean cut here look at that look at that how beautiful I wish you could smell my kitchen right now. Okay, guys. So that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. Please do enjoy. And until next time, take care.